Yo, yo, what's happening fellas? Welcome back to the channel. So, I used to make these videos way back in the day when I had no idea about fashion, but uh, I still kind of don't know what I'm doing, but I think I do know a lot better than I did back then. So we're gonna bring it back because as a guy whose job is creating content about fashion, I have the constant pressure and opportunities to try new things, look fly, experiment. So there are gonna be a new tech, new clothes, a lot of things coming into the channel. And I know that some of you guys may be interested in the things that I pick up. So today we're gonna be talking about all my recent pickups in the past few months. And just to be clear, I spent my own money on these products because it brings in new ideas. I can make new content from it. You guys don't have to be doing this because it's not your job. In fact, you guys probably have a lot more respectable jobs than I do. Fashion is probably just your side thing. So that's, that's really awesome actually. But also this video is sponsored by Rolls Gold and Black. Hit the link down in the description. It's gonna take you guys to my special page for my viewers, where a ton of the products are gonna be heavily discounted. If you guys are interested in any of the bracelets or the necklaces that I wear, check them out. We'll talk about them more at the end of the video. Like with the sponsor and all the other products I talk about in this video that I've picked up, I'm serious about this. Do not buy these items just because I said so or just to support me. Obviously, I really like these items because I'm making a video about it, but if you like it, it fits your budget, then I'll just say, you're definitely gonna love the items if you pick it up. So let's talk about it. So the first items up aren't actually clothing items. These are actually hair products. As you you guys know hair has been quite the issue on the channel. I haven't had the best hair nor will I ever have the best hair because I personally still cut my own hair till this day. It took me a few months to learn how but I save a ton of time. I don't have to commute to the barbershop. I don't have to wait in their seats then get my hair cut then commute back and take a shower. All that takes two hours me cutting my hair start to finish 30 minutes. Not saying you guys have to do that but I'm rambling right now. So anyways I used to use Gatsby and it doesn't suit my hair at all. I learned that the hard way. After I styled my hair, it would just get frizzy and utterly terrible. So recently, every time I take a shower, I use argan oil and it's really restored the health of my hair. And now my main hair product is the Suavecito Firm Clay, which I'm sure you guys heard from a lot of YouTubers. But now I have my current hair, which has more texture, has better hold, also has a little bit of a shine. And now I definitely say that this hair suits me a lot better. But again, hair is the last thing I care about. I may try new things, but that also means I have to learn new techniques of cutting my hair. And I'm just not into hair as much as other people, which is fine, just like you guys may not be into cargo pants like I am. But yeah, since I get a lot of questions about my hair, these are the products I've been using. There will be a ton of links down in the description where you guys can pick these up if you guys are interested, it fits your budget. And also to be transparent, most of them will be affiliate links, which goes back to funding the channel. But also to prevent this video from coming off too salesy, I'll just leave the regular link down below that's not affiliated with me. And you guys just choose whichever one you want. One of them goes to supporting the channel, the other is just a regular link. Next item up, we got this Riot Division sling bag. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys have seen that I've been wearing my Orbi gear messenger bag a little bit too much with my fits. I love this item and I would like to get buried with it whenever I pass. However, it was getting too much. I just wanted a different look and also a different color. It's a cream color that actually folds in half to make like a, almost like a wallet size bag. I really like the texture of the strap. You can tell it's made pretty well. It's also water resistant, perfect for hiking or just casual street or techie fits. This has been a recent favorite. Next up, we got some basics from Uniqlo, but these aren't just like your regular plain t-shirts. These ones are actually very functional and they do give you some bonus points whenever you rock them with some more techie fits because of the technology used with these. So Heat Tech is a technology designed to keep you warm during the colder months. So I have three shirts, all different colors. What I like about Heat Tech is I can wear a lighter jacket on top, kind of like this fit right here. This is a Heat Tech dark gray long sleeve. I'm rocking it with a puffer vest. Still a lot of breathability, but this is actually super warm. But also when I took this shot as Skynet was attacking New Mexico, it was actually pretty chilly. And I wore just a Heat Tech shirt with a windbreaker and I was still plenty warm. These items are perfect for the transition between winter and spring, kind of like what we are in right now. Now, Airism is the opposite. It's designed to keep you cool. So I'm gonna be wearing this during the warmer days and I'll still be cool, even though it is a long sleeve. So yeah, these basics are awesome. I would definitely recommend it depending on the area that you live in. I'm in New Mexico, it gets really hot out here during the summers, so I'm gonna be rocking a lot of Airism. Next up, we have this messenger bag from Uniqlo. Again, this was also purchased because of my love for that Orbit gear bag. What I like about this bag is just the space that it has. It's massive. It has a ton of storage and this could serve as a backpack replacement. Because I remember back when I was living in New York City, I would carry my laptop on me. I was heading to work. It started pouring like crazy and then the rain actually soaked through the bag and actually damaged the CD-ROM on my laptop. That was, that was an old laptop, obviously. But this bag has Uniqlo's BlockTech technology, which blocks wind and water. And now I can safely put my laptop in there, spill some water, walk out in the rain, and it's gonna be perfectly fine. And I know, I know it doesn't rain much out here. We get 300 days of sunshine a year. 
but it's actually raining right now as I film this. But I'm moving back to New York City as soon as this disease is gone, whenever that happens. But yeah, like I said, if you spill water on it, it's not going to damage any of the contents in there. It's just going to beat up and just fall right off. Next up, we got the original Iron Gym. This disease is wreaking havoc all over the world because if I get sick, I can't make... I can't make content for you guys. So I've been working out at home for the past week or so because uh, my community has shut the gyms. I can't use it. I actually used to work out at home for like two years straight back in like 2015 or so. And I was still able to get in decent shape. So don't let that stop you. No excuses, guys. But yeah, with this, I can do pull-ups, push-ups, work on my handstand push-ups as well. I've also got gymnastic rings that you can attach to this. So you can do gymnastic ring dips, which is actually a lot harder. Or you can just innovate as well and just put a backpack on this with a lot of stuff in it. And you can curl it. For some bicep curls but yeah guys it's actually a good thing that gyms are closing think about how many times a dumbbell has been touched by all the thousands of people that go to the gym a day and then you end up touching your face bro no wonder why you have acne and it's also the easiest way to catch a cold so definitely recommend this iron gym if you guys do some calisthenics or you just want to work out at home pro tip just throw a bunch of heavy stuff in your backpack wear it on your back and it's like a weighted vest almost you can do weighted pull-ups you can actually get a pretty good workout next up we have my favorite pickup so far probably of all time to be honest and that is the nike lab acg cargos from the fall winter 18 collection earlson hughes last time working with nike acg rip but man i just love these for its baggy and relaxed fits it's definitely suited for the techie vibes obviously and you definitely don't see that many people rocking this on the gram these are also waterproof the cargo pockets are actually optional which is crazy to me you can stow it away for a more minimalistic look or you can leave it out like a regular cargo pocket the ankle is adjustable however it's still going to be a baggy fit if you guys can find one in your size, I definitely would just recommend sizing down from that. This is a size small, and I still could have sized down to an extra small, but those are hard to come by. But yeah, what I like about these is honestly just the color, the amount of cargo space it has. It's more of a green color instead of an olive. I mean, it's still definitely olive. It's just not more of that gray olive that you guys are mainly used to. It leans more towards the green side. These pants to me are almost like a statement piece, so I like to keep the fit very simple. I'm definitely gonna be rocking this with just a hoodie and then this puffer vest thrown over it, and then a carabiner to tie off the look. So yeah, that's the next item. This carabiner right here is actually meant for rock climbing. You guys definitely don't need this. I just like the look because I also have this mini one attached to it, but it's so small that it would always be hard for me to find the part that clips, and it was just annoying, so I picked this one up. It's extra secure because you have to twist it, then you can unclip it, but it's just as easy to find the part that twists and clips which is why I picked it up plus it just makes the fit more fun and tactical and it's hard to lose my keys and it's harder to steal them as well and now we got my puffer vest so puffer vests usually have an association with uh yeah no <laughs> but why is that in my opinion I think people think that the standard puffer vest is just too puffy however this comes from Uniqlo's ultra light down collection which is more slim fit and lighter easy to pack and it doesn't make you look like the dude from michelin you know the mascot plus it also adds a more techie look as well does add a bit of warmth and i do like this for the transition to spring because if it's cold throw a hoodie underneath if it's warmer throw on an airism long sleeve tee and you'll still be fine next up we got this crew neck from riot division i like this because of the color it's basically just a regular crew neck with this big old nylon pouch on the bottom of the shirt which makes it a little asymmetrical and adds a really cool look to it. But I don't know how much I'm gonna wear this because it is getting pretty warm out right now and this is very insulating. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be more for the fall winter vibes whenever that comes around. Then I got this lamp for the videos with colored LEDs if you guys have obviously seen my re more recent videos. Yeah, I got it because it just adds colors to the video so the studio is just not so boring. These aren't Philips Hughes light bulbs. They are actually just some off brand. I wanted to go cheap because I'm not bringing this back whenever I move. But if you're a content creator or you just want your room to look cool and you want to save some money, definitely would recommend picking this up and then the off brand. And you can control the color with your phone to switch up the mood or to switch up the uh, videos for a higher production. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it purple for the video. This lamp is super light and portable so I can move it around for the videos. But yeah, the bulbs actually don't get that bright if unless you're in the regular LED color. Uh, if you change the color, it's actually pretty dim and it kind of sucks, which is why I don't really like these. But whatever. First world problems. And last but not least, we have the shaver for maintaining your clothes. So, shouts out to Tim DeSaint for mentioning this specific one. And yeah, if you have any lint balls or any signs of fraying on your clothes, 
this will take care of it. My Carhartt tees definitely get a lot of lint balls, but using this shaves it off and basically makes it look new again. This happens to almost every item, so this is a great way to keep your clothes looking great so you can wear them longer and get more bang for your buck for your purchase. So now let's dive into the paid sponsor of today's video, Rose Gold and Black. If you guys don't know about them already, they make versatile and minimalistic jewelry for men. I've been wearing them since like 2017. Their items aren't loud or anything, and they really add that nice little touch to an outfit. Me personally, I cannot walk out the house without a bracelet on my wrist, and nine times out of 10, it's a bracelet from Rose Gold and Black. But for today, I wanna recommend you guys their minimalistic bar necklaces. Beaded bracelets aren't for everyone, I get it, but more minimalistic jewelry like this bar necklace is. I like wearing it to add a pop of color or use it as a complementary to the tone of my fit and it's a different material which also makes the outfit a little more complete in my opinion. I don't know but for simple spring fits like just this plain Carhartt shirt adding this necklace really ties the outfit together versus without. So if you guys are interested go and click the link in the description it's going to take you guys to my special page because you guys are viewers of this channel. A ton of their items will be heavily discounted plus you guys can use the code HOLIDAY19 and save an additional 15% off your order. If you're going to pick up an item from there I really really like their bar necklaces. It's been a favorite of mine since last month when I got it. I don't make any commissions or anything but if these accessories fit your budget you actually like it and you make a purchase then I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you a ton. It really helps the channel out i really appreciate it and thank you rose gold and black for sponsoring this video all right guys what did you think about this video do you guys like seeing what i've picked up if so help me out turn that like button blue so that the youtube algorithm gods can bless the channel with love because uh i need views follow me on instagram for more stupid pictures and stupid outfits and stupid haircuts subscribe to the channel thank you for watching this video and until then stay fly stay animosity free wash your hands i'm out bro peace